it was pretty emotional. Um, I had gotten some texts the night before from our campground manager, and he was saying, there's, some, there's a lot of trees down. It's really devastating. And I was like, okay, we're going to go in and, you know, Sunday morning get some stuff cleaned up, and then uh, everyone's going to go home that came in on their day off. But uh, I got here, and it was it was hard to look at. It was... It was it was tough to see a place that's so beautiful that you get to go to every day and work and really enjoy the space and uh, it was unrecognizable. It was pretty devastating to say the least. Um, and we hadn't even seen the trails yet. We would just seen the Greenway or what we could see on the Greenway. Um, we knew a lot of work was ahead of us and I think we all took a moment or two to sit there and process it and then we kind of just said all right one tree at a time so we just cleared a path to our 40 that was on the hammer and uh we're just taking a look see around and it's wild there's trees down everywhere we we couldn't be as open as we are without all the volunteerism that's happened i mean we've had people come from out of state we've had a couple of volunteer days where hundreds of people have come to help clean up and everybody's been so hungry and will approach me and ask what can i do when are you gonna have the next volunteer day can i come at nights on my own time anything like that um if the community wasn't as awesome as they were we would still be hacking through the brush like like almost like it was day one so it's amazing it's been beautiful it's it's a wonderful thing to see and to know that your neighbors are you know loving all the things that you come out here to provide for them you know a place for walking and riding and recreation and and you know it's it's amazing it's a wonderful thing <laughs>